hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x plus x to be equal to 10 okay so the first step i'm going to take is to multiply remember we have to follow both mass for this x times x times um, times x will give us x to the power of 3 then i have plus x to be equal to 10. now the next thing i will do is to bring everything to the left hand side so i have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 equals 0 and then the next step would be for me to split 8 remember i have x to the power 3 <clears throat> so i have to bring out 8 i have to bring out 8 because 8 can be written in index form right so that means i'll have x to the power 3 plus x minus open bracket i have 8 then i have from um, plus 2 equal to 0 because 8 plus 2 will still give us the 10 now let's open this bracket so we have x to the power 3 plus x then minus 8 minus 2 equal to 0 okay so the next i'm going to do is to regroup this and if i do that i'll have x to the power 3 minus 8 okay and then i have plus x minus 2 equals 0 but then 8 here is the same thing as 2 to the power 3 so i'll have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 equals 0 and then the next thing I'm going to do is to apply this um, rule. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, okay, it is the same thing as a minus b into brackets a squared plus ab, okay, so plus ab, then plus um b squared okay so this will be the same thing so i'm going to apply this principle to get x to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3 and then if i do that it means that in place of a minus b i'm going to have x minus 2 right so i have x minus 2 this will be in this bracket and then in the next bracket I'm going to have a squared which will now be x squared so I'll write x squared plus a b is going to be x times 2 and that is 2x then plus b squared now is going to be 2 squared and that will give us 4 then we can close this bracket okay now the whole of this is for x to the power 3 minus x um, minus 2 to the power 3 then i will have plus x minus 2 equals 0 plus x minus 2 equals 0 and now i can factorize because i have x minus 2 here and i have x minus 2 over there so i'll pick x minus 2 in one bracket then in the other bracket i have x squared plus 2x plus 4 and then i will now have x minus 2 has gone out so plus 1 will be left over there and this is equal to 0. okay so i'm going to take a step further and if I do that, I will have x minus 2 in one bracket. And then in the other bracket, I have x squared plus 2x 
plus 4 plus 1 okay because i have to open the bracket and fix this one in now i'll take a step okay so this will now be x minus 2 into bracket x squared plus 2x plus 5 close this bracket equal to 0 and at this point we can apply zero product rule so that we have x minus 2 to be equal to 0 or the whole of this here x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 okay so if I deal with the left x will be equal to 0 plus 2 and our x is equal to 2 so this is one of the solutions to this problem but then to get the other solution i'm going to work with this quadratic equation so i have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. now we may not be able to factorize this but we can solve this using the formula method and according to this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and then c is equal to 5. now let's get our formula x is equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4 ac everything over 2a now let's fix in the values that we have x will be equal to minus b becomes minus 2 positive or negative okay so we have b squared which will be 2 squared minus 4 a is 1 and c is 5 close this bracket and the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 because a is 1 right okay so x now will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative and then i have 4 minus 20. i have 4 minus 20 in there so that this will be divided by 2. okay so if i take a step further i'll have x to be equal to minus 2 positive or negative 4 minus 20 will give us minus 16 and this will be divided by 2 and do not forget i can still take a step further okay so x is equal to minus 2 positive or negative we have um, 16 times negative 1 and this is over 2 okay because 16 times negative 1 will give us negative 16 now we can find the square root of 4 of 16 so our x is equal to minus 2 positive or negative square root of 16 is 4 then square root of minus 1 will give us i okay and this will be over 2 if i take a step further x will be equal to minus 2 plus 4i over 2 or minus 2 minus 4i over 2 okay i've split it this way then the next thing i'm going to do is this x will be equal to 2 can be factored out right so i will have from um, 2 outside then here i'm going to have minus 1 then i have plus 2i close this and the whole of this is divided by 2 or on this side i'll factor out i'll factor out 2 again so i'm going to have 2 outside into bracket minus 1 then i have minus 2i close this and this is divided by 2 now 2 can cancel this 
this will cancel this and then x is equal to minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i okay so let's get the three solutions for this equation we have x to be equal to 2 as our first solution that is x1 then our x2 will be this which is minus 1 plus 2i and then our x3 will be minus 1 minus 2i okay the first the only true or real solution to this is x1 to be equal to 2 the other one are not real thank you for watching